Good evening. It is an incredible tale of wilderness survival with a twist. An American man traveling alone had to abandon his sinking sailboat on the west coast of Vancouver Island. He was able to get to shore only to find himself stranded, penned in by thick forest on one side and a stormy ocean on the other. And after five days alone, he was beginning to fade until something caught the eye of a Vancouver Island helicopter pilot. As A News reporter Gord Kerbis shows us tonight, the rescued sailor isn't out of the woods yet. With 30 years of flying experience under his belt, West Coast helicopter pilot Wayne Goodridge has come across a lot. But spotting someone stranded in the middle of nowhere surprised even him. He blended in pretty good. You know, the rocks are quite dark and uh, he had a dark wetsuit on. And uh, But, you know, I just caught a little bit of movement and we circled back and to check it out. And sure enough, here's a guy. That guy was 56-year-old Keith Carver of Tucson, Arizona. He told the pilot he had spent five days alone in the wilderness after having to abandon his disabled 43-foot sailboat. For all those factors to line up uh, for that guy to be saved was just incredible, I think. Goodridge immediately flew the barefooted hypothermic man to Port McNeil where he was hospitalized. Jerry Higginson was a patient in the room next to Carver, heard how he was sailing south but was blown back north and ran into difficulties. So he was dead in the water more or less, just going where the wind blew him. He had a sea anchor and that broke the line a few days before that, so he was pretty well heading. All his sails were ripped up and stuff. Cindy Fiddler also talked with Carver and saw the extent of some of his injuries. Yeah, I saw them because he was bare feet. Right. Yeah, and they were all like frostbit. His legs, his ankles looked all swollen. Yeah, it was pretty bad looking. Carver's amazing tale of how he survived in the wilderness and the joy he felt as he watched that helicopter come down to rescue him have been told many times to many patients. And he was going to tell it to us as well. But a funny thing happened as he was being discharged from the hospital. RCMP were waiting for him and they took him into custody. It appears Carver is not supposed to be in Canada and they have some concerns about his tale. Uh, there is no criminal investigation. There's nothing to indicate that he committed any criminal acts while he was in Canada, um, which is why we simply are the agency which takes custody of him and then will allow the Canada Border Service agents to make a, a further determination of his status. Tonight, Carver remains in custody at the Port McNeil Police Station. RCMP are not providing much information as to why they are holding him or why police have spent much of the day still at Port McNeil Hospital talking with staff. Goodridge and other staff members from West Coast Helicopters had been visiting Carver in hospital. Now they remain as confused as everyone else. In Port McNeil, Gord Kerbis, A News.